Greetings all. I'm Tony M. Bingham. Um, I'm from Birmingham, Alabama, and I'm here to participate in the Good Trouble Civil Rights uh, Past and Present exhibition here at the Kentuck Arts Center in beautiful downtown Northport, Alabama. The pieces that I um, chose to include uh, in this exhibition, you know, I thought about the theme, the civil rights past and present, and um, I was thinking about my art practice um, often refers to African-American history and explorations of history using art as, as my means of responding to those histories. And a long time ago, um, I had a copy of this book, this, um, uh, the, Negro, the Negro Traveler's Green Book, 1954 edition. And lately there's been a lot of uh, investigation, films, everything about this, this kind of idea of the need for something like this, the need for African-Americans uh, who were, who were uh, wanting to travel around the country, a need to have a book that would provide um, accommodations, safe passage, as it will, almost a, a second coming of the Underground Railroad, you know, no, no less than that. And I thought that um, such a resource uh, would offer great possibilities to explore uh, through the arts. And so the pieces that I chose to include um, are investigations into that, into that sort of that theme of safety and, and travel and, and destination and arrival. I used a variety of uh, mediums uh, in preparing those works, I um, I used uh, what I call well, they're found photographs. So these are images of African American people that I find in uh, secondhand shops. There are um, eight millimeter home movies that I was fortunate enough to also find um, at secondhand shops. One film in particular was only marked Selma. It was marked Selma, 1965. So I thought, uh, I don't know what's up, you know, what's on that, but let's, you know, I got it. And so as I began, fortunately, it was um, filmed by an African-American family of, from Alabama. So that was so thrilling to have access to those images and to find a way, find a way to not only honor that family's vision, but also to have a, a resource that I could use to uh, further investigate um, the whole idea of the Negro Traveler's Green Book. And also I was moved, in addition to those prints, um, I created a, a stop motion animation uh, piece. And that is something that um, entitled, um, uh, With a Green Book as My Guide, and so that's something that I encourage uh, our guests to Kentuck who come to the exhibition. Um, I, you can see that film. It has a link via the QR code. And it's something that, that if you have an iPhone, if you go to the photo function or however you might um, transfer a QR code scan app or something, if you just click that, it takes you directly to the film. And so I'm really excited about that. You know, thinking about my first experience with the civil rights movement, you know, there, there are many. As a child, I grew up in, in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, and I remember in my neighborhood, and I really need to just double check with my older brother. I mean, because it's so unbelievable now to think of what we saw. I mean, did that really happen? I mean, I believe Martin Luther King came to our community and spoke from the back of a flatbed truck. And I don't know if it was, I don't know what it was about. Was it voter registration or some demonstration? Or, you know, I, re I have 
faint memories of that. I think I must have been in about the third or fourth grade when that happened. Um, but also, you know, I was thinking about that question, and I remember I saw I saw a photo, I saw a, a news clipping in our family archives where my father participated in something called the March Against Fear, and what that was, um, you you know, historically anyone can do the research. Who was James Meredith? And I believe he was the first Af one of the first African American students to enroll in Old Miss. And so, so there was a time that he wanted to march or walk from Memphis to Jackson, Mississippi. And he was, he was, he, he started on it. He was gonna just do this walk alone to just say, I, you know, I'm an American. I have the right to try to, to be, to be. So he walked, but Someone, um, I don't know if it was in the Tennessee section or wherever, so someone fired a, a, a rifle at him. And there's a famous picture of him um, lying on the street, just howling with his shot. He survived, James Meredith survived. But then um, that moment um, was uh, 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 an opportunity for the civil rights um, community to rally and, and they were determined we are going to complete this march and so my father was a part of that march and they marched from where, where um, James Meredith fell and they marched on to Jackson and landed at um, historically black college Tougaloo there in Jackson Mississippi just outside of Jackson so so those are some of my um, some of my memories, some of the things that I think about in terms of the civil rights movement. My influences as a as a, a black artist, African American artist, um, being in a in a in a place like Alabama, being around places like historically, uh, being situated at a historically black college. Um, that influences my work because um, sometimes I feel that artists are these seers. They're these sort of, I don't want to say visionaries, but maybe, maybe, you know, life is kind of, you know, we, we look to better days and it's, you know, people are busy just trying to, trying to survive. And, you know, who has the luxury to sit around and, and and, do, and create objects to create uh, beauty in a situation like that. People are just trying to make it day to day. And so perhaps one of, one of the opportunities for someone who works with, with art is to find a way to, to help the community have a, a stronger sense of itself through the inspiration through, of the, the, the things that they might make. Maybe the objects could help the community reflect on its proud heritage and, and, and lead uh, and just to inspire people. So I think that if my work can, be, uh, can play a role in that sort of experience, then I'll consider it, you know, that I've made my contribution um, to, to, to it.